what's up everyone welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about six seo strategies that can help you get leads and drive revenue on the internet getting straight into the video the first is conversion tracking so what does it mean by tracking conversions conversion tracking is a process of monitoring the number of inbound leads or opt-ins completed on a website so why is it important for a business to have conversion tracking conversion tracking helps you to get a projection of how many leads are you getting per month right so if you are a local business and you don't have this thing set up on your website then you are missing out on a ton of opportunities out there right so conversion tracking also helps in determining the behavior of your users for instance it tells you how are your users interacting with the pages on your website how are they converting is it through a phone call or is it through a contact form submit and from which channel are they coming is it through social media or is it through organic search or is it through paid ads if you are doing pay per click marketing right so not having conversion tracking set up is just equivalent to signing up for a weight loss program without having a weight scale right so what's the point in hitting the gym and doing all sorts of exercises if you don't have a track of how many pounds have you lost in that period of time right so that is why conversion tracking is important for a business it tells you how many leads are you getting in a certain amount of time so yeah some tools by which you can track conversions on your website the first is google analytics which is a free tool by google and it helps in determining user behavior and source of conversion which we already talked about earlier in this video the second is call tracking metrics and i would recommend you if you are a business as it enables to track the amount of inbound phone calls from multiple channels like websites social media google maps etc so moving on to the next one which is call to action so call to action is just an instructional text that tells a visitor what he needs to do after he lands on a website right so as the definition says call to action is the most important thing on a web page acting as an instructor to the visitor in order to encourage them to take some kind of action so here are some examples that you might have come across so the examples are call us now find out more or subscribe to our newsletter call to actions are nothing but persuasive text which encourages a website visitor to take some kind of action on the website so here's a perfect implementation of what call to action should look like so as you can see that this is a local roofing company and the business owner has the call button right off the bat which is what every business should do right so it helps the prospect to get in direct touch with the business and you don't want your users to you know fill out a form and wait for hours if not days to get a reply from the business so i would highly recommend you to go for a call button over a contact form and here's the bad implementation of what call to action looks like so you can see right off the bat that the background image is so defined that the text on it is not clearly visible the appointments button in the top right corner is completely incorrect you don't want your prospects to book an appointment with you you just want a phone number by which they can get on a phone with you right so do take out some time and focus on what your call to action should look like so here are the types of call to actions for different type of websites the first is local business so always use call now button if you are a local business and you can also use get a free code today or a free consultation but i would suggest you to stick with phone number the second is national websites which target the global traffic and if you are one of them then go for sign up to our newsletter or free download if you have email opt in and yeah the last is e-commerce or product websites uh, so you can just put buttons all over the place saying that buy now to order some buy man or 
free shipping or drive today or something along the lines so moving on to the next one which is keyword research so as the name suggests keyword research is a process of finding search terms which are words or phrases that people type into search engines so how to spot profitable keywords finding profitable keywords can be an excruciating task but it's worth a while right profitable keywords are words that are highly searched into search engines but are less competitive meaning less number of websites are targeting that specific set of keywords so here's a free tool that you can use for researching keywords and the tool is called google keyword planner which is a tool from google that allows you to search as well as extract your keywords from your competitors with monthly volume which is monthly searches and difficulty for each keyword and i've also listed a pro tip which states that try finding long tail keywords and long tail keywords are phrases which have more than three to four words in them as they are less competitive and more specific so instead of going for cat food you can go for best cat food for persian cats which is highly specific and builds that relevancy and the next is duplicate content so what is duplicate content a piece of content that has been replicated on a website is known as duplicate content it can either be internally or externally by the way i have made an entire video on what duplicate content is so you can you can click on the top right corner of your screen and watch it and hopefully your all questions will be answered so the next is page speed so as the name suggests page speed is the time taken for a website to load so the faster your website loads the better it is for google and as well as your users so how page speed can affect your website poorly performing sites that load slowly in a browser can drive users away which is pretty self-explanatory and conversely sites that load quickly will typically receive more traffic and have better conversion rates as well as over overall experience so make sure your website loads fast and to check the speed of your website here are some free tools the first is page speed insight which is again a tool by google which reports on the performance of a page both on mobile and desktop devices the second is gt metrics and the third is pingdom so the last is web design so why is web design so important so users like clean and tidy websites right you don't want your website to be messed up good web design helps guide your users eye and tell them where you want them to look you can highlight specific offers or call to actions which we talked about earlier and help users identify buttons and clickable elements also keep a note that your website is mobile friendly as it enhances the overall page experience which is what google wants and to check if your website is mobile friendly or not you can use a tool called mobile friendly test which is again a free tool by google and just go on google and search mobile friendly test and click on the first link that appears and paste your website url so it will tell you if your page is mobile friendly or not so that's how you can check the mobile friendliness of your website so here's a quick recap of what we covered in this video so you need to have conversion tracking set up in order to get a projection of how many leads are you getting per month and ways to double that so you can drive in as much as revenue as you can the next is call to actions which are persuasive text that tells website visitor what they need to do in order the second is call to action which are persuasive text which tells website visitor what they need to do after they land on the website 
the third is keyword research and try to find long tail keywords meaning phrases that have more than three to four words in them and try finding profitable keywords which are highly searched but are less competitive the fourth is duplicate content and to know what duplicate content is watch our video on how duplicate content can kill your conversion rate and all your questions will be answered the second last tip is page speed make sure your website loads fast as no one likes slow loading websites and the last is web design keep your website as as clean as possible so that your users can see clickable elements like call to actions your phone number and the things which you need your users to do on your website so that was a quick recap thanks for watching and before you leave make sure to grab our free seo checklist and join our facebook group as well that's it for this video we'll meet in the next one till then happy marketing bye